eight lessons from my father. I had did this series last year, I believe around this time, Christmas. I want to do this series again, just to kind of remind us about some of the lessons my dad taught me. And one of the main lessons my dad taught me, ladies, is all men want to have sex. Yes, they all want to have sex. If you meet a man that does not want to have sex, run to the hills from whence cometh your help. You're coming from the Lord because he's lying. You need to know this. You need to accept it. You need to receive it. You need to think about it. You need to meditate on it. You need to always have it in the forefront of your head that all man wants to have sex. Happy Friday, y'all. I absolutely love and appreciate you for your love and your support. I wanted to go live tonight, but I am extremely tired and I'm just going to go lay down and take me a nap. And by the time I wake up, I'm just going to roll over and go take me another nap. So <laughs> I can't go outside. I'm just so tired. It's Friday and I am exhausted. Be sure to subscribe. I am speedily um, approaching 13,000 subscribers. I'm at 8,000, nah, uh-uh, 12,800 and something. And that's one of the reasons I wanted to go live, but I just, I cannot. I will fall asleep. As a matter of fact, I had a dream I was alive and I fell asleep alive. <laughs> Okay, so thank you for your love and support. Be sure to remember, remember, this is it. Ebooks and print books are, and so this book is absolutely necessary. It teaches you about men, the different types of men. As a matter of fact, I wanted to go over the different types of men of the men on Mad at First Sight, um, but I don't have time, okay? So I'll probably do that over the, I'll try to do it over the weekend. Um, this t-shirt, take the cookie off the table is also on sale on Etsy. You need to pick it up because the prices are going to be going up. And of course, uh, I forgot to mention, I don't even remember. Did I put the journal, the wisdom journal on sale? I don't remember, but I'm sure it is. I will check. How many of you know you need wisdom ladies? As a matter of fact, I had a dream last night about wisdom. I could hear Mike Murdoch saying wisdom is the ability to differentiate between two decisions, something like that. So thank you so much for your love and your support. I'm going to try, try, try to get in those comments this weekend. So one of the lessons, I don't know if this is number one, you have sex, ladies, and you need to understand, especially Christian women. I just think that Christian women are one of the most naive Christian people in general are just so naive and simple. You don't believe me? The apostle Paul said to the church of Galatia, oh foolish Galatians. And I feel as if church folks, and especially Christian women are just so simple. Read Proverbs chapter seven. This is why you need this book, the wisdom book, okay? But just in case you don't, honey, you need to read this book, 23 Tales of God You Might Meet, because you need to learn about the different types of men that you might have out there. Listen, all men want to have sex. When Pookie Ray Ray Tyrone come up in your face smiling and he want to take you out, I want you to remember Pookie is trying to get the drawers. Pookie is trying to get the cookie. Okay, Pookie wants the cookie. Okay. You need to understand this, ladies. You need to learn about men. And by learning about men, it will help you to be able to avoid their traps. How many of you know that men are hunters? Listen, that is how God made them. Okay. It, it, to me, trying to change men is it doesn't make sense to me it's we need to understand them and because we understand that all men want to have sex baby you keep your legs closed okay i just don't understand it i was on facebook yesterday and i read this little thing here and um i wanted to do a separate video about it but since the lord brought it back to my remembrance i'm gonna go ahead and read it again there was this lady uh, who shared that um, she wrote an, um, an article to men who wants to have sex with her, but they don't want to date her. 
Now, my question and my comment was, if you keep your legs closed, these men would not sleep with you. I mean, it's really, 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 really simple. Ladies, you must understand you need to take the cookie off the table. Go in my community tab. I shared a sample reading from my reading on yesterday about taking the cookie off the table. How many of you know that you need to close your legs to men? Okay, uh, let me just go here and say we are a Christian channel over here, okay? We believe the Bible in context. You wanna know what I think, believe, feel about any situation, any social issue, whatever, read the Bible in context, okay? I hope that clarifies some things for some of y'all. So we need to understand, ladies, that we need to protect ourselves from men they do not have our best interests at heart so we have to have our best interests at heart they all their you know whose best interests they have at heart their dinglings okay and so because men only care about satisfying their dinglings we have to care about uh protecting our kitty cat and we have to do what take our cookies off the table so those of you who are running and crying and claiming about how men are dogs and oh they just want to sleep with me and this foolish woman i'll probably do this over the weekend because i want to read the article and talk it through oh they want to sleep with me but they don't want to date me my question to you is ma'am did you give them your cookie freely because if it wasn't free you need to call the police do you understand so ladies when you are dating you must renew your mind about taking the cookie off the table because all men want to have sex and because all men want to have sex, when Pookie Tyron Ray Ray and Zachary is smiling in your face, I want the little, little person, I want you to hear Janice back here. All men want to have sex. All men want to have sex. From now on, you just think about Janice on your one year shoulder. Okay, I'm the good angel. I'm the good angel. Okay, I'm going to be on your shoulder waving a red flag. All men want to have They don't have your best interests at heart. You, you you see them talk about, you even see Zach telling about when she asked, are we exclusive, which is foolish. You don't have enough data about a man to be exclusive from the man you just met. He said, oh, well, let's just date around and see, see how it goes. Basically, I want to chill. He's 27, 28. That's what they do. They're not ready to settle down. Okay, so 30-year-old men are not settled down. Ladies, you do not trust any man. Okay, I see I'm ready to love to some of the talk about I trust you till you give me reason not to trust you. No, dumb, dumb. You don't trust them until they prove themselves that they can be trusted. Do you understand? Until a man has gone through the process to protect you. He don't care nothing about you. Let me tell you, if you know a man care about you and he's trying to protect you, he's going to start talking to you and he's going to want to talk to your father or your father. This is what my husband did. After about a month or two, he asks, I want to meet your father. I want to talk to your father about you. And you know what? That made me realize that this man is going about this thing the right way. And he possibly might have my best interest at heart, so I'm going to watch him for a while. And then he is taking the steps to protect you. You know he cares because he's taking the steps to protect you. He's talking to your father figure or whoever. He's trying to put a ring on your finger to take you off the market. And he's going to be trying to get you married you really quick. I told you my husband was trying to get married in two months. I mean, you know, I wasn't giving him no cookies, so he was trying to get all this brown sugar. <laughs> he was trying to get all this brown sugariness and he wanted to get married in two months. Well, supposed to meet October. And he was like, Can we get married in December? I was like, ah, that's not enough time for me to get my drink. 
But how you know when they care is they're going through the process. They're doing the, they're taking the necessary steps to protect you. We, we just went to walk well, a store, and uh, my little boy, Law, he calls it White Eagle, and uh, I came out, this I said to him, I said, have I told you how wonderful you are and how you take such good care of us? And he says, thank you, I try. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, why do you, did you find one? Okay. Okay. All right. Let me talk to you later. Bye. That's baby daddy. Uh, when a man cares about you, he is going to go through the process to protect you. Until then, girl. You don't care. All they care about is their dinglings. They have their dingalings best interests at heart. And they want to satisfy their dingalings by putting their dingalings in your kitty cat or in your mouth. <laughs> okay. So I need you, especially the church girls. I feel like Christian women are so simple minded. It's like you just trust everybody. You think everybody's a good person. I, I, girl, when I was there, I saw them all the devil until they prove otherwise. Every man that came up to me, I was like, he's the devil. He's just trying to get my cookie until they prove, they prove otherwise. They don't care about you. Think about it. How many boyfriends have you had? I just want to know. How many men you've wasted years dating? Huh? How many men you don't sleep with that I love you right when they're getting into, oh, I love you, baby. Oh, this is the good one I ever had. Oh, this is the best cookie I ever had. You ain't hear from him no more. I don't told you. They don't care about you. And all they care about is their dingling's best interest. I got to go, girl. I love you. I'm going to bed. Um, that was baby dad calling about the baby uh, costume for Christmas. All of these books are on sale. They're going on sale on Sunday. So you better get them now. Take the cookie off the table is in this book. In Christ I Am. A lot of you need to read about your uh, identity. Stop giving boyfriend, husband's benefits, baby. This is only 99 cents. Okay. Uh, take the cookie off the table. It's, it's on Etsy. Uh, 10 years of girlfriend. How many of y'all been girlfriends forever? Hmm? How many of y'all? How many? How long you been a girlfriend? I've never been a girlfriend. I don't believe in being girlfriends. When he said something about girlfriend, boy, I saw, I said, uh uh. I said, uh uh. I don't believe in boyfriends and girlfriends. He said, guess what he said? Uh oh. You know what that means? He already knew. This one is different. Okay. I got to go. I'm going to be on fire. Bye. Love you. Let me know what you think. I'll be in the comments later. Bye.